Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. And this recipe is for when the kids are out of school. Oh my goodness. They eat all day long. They want this, they want that. So I'm going to give you a little uh, tip on how to make something pleasing to the kids. Okay, I'm going to make a pizza. Well, it's not a pizza. It's sort of like a submarine uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but I will let y'all name this, okay? But what it is, really, is spaghetti over garlic bread. So we're going to show you what I'm doing. And you get some garlic bread fresh at the deli at Kroger's. They always have them marked down. So instead of getting one, get two if you got your grandkids coming over or your kids. You take it out, just like this. And it's supposed to have butter already on it, but sometimes you have to add extra butter on this. So what I did, I add extra butter. And what I want you to do is to put it in a brawler and brawl it like that. Brawl it. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side. And what I'm going to do is show you to get some less expensive uh, spaghetti and meatballs. So I got two of them. So I can cover this real heavy. So what I'm going to do is put the bread to the side. And then we're going to have some, right here, is the meatballs. We're going to put the meatballs and the spaghetti, spaghetti okay, so yeah, together just like this. Because like I said, I bought two of them so we can have a hearty little spaghetti. Okay, do it like this. Pour it all in this container just like this. Now... What you can do is take the meatballs to the side. Put the meatballs to the side like that. So you can place them back on the bread. So we've got it just like this. Meatballs to the side. I'll put it back in this little container here. And take them out like that. I hope everybody's doing great. Hope everything is fine and wonderful. Because everything is fine and wonderful with me. Okay, now we're going to take the meatballs out. Should have did that when I had a chance, but didn't do it. So take the meatballs out. And we're going to leave them there. And what we're going to do here is add some more marinara sauce to it, just like that. Stir it up just like this. And we're going to add some ketchup, because kids love ketchup. So we're going to add ketchup to it just like that to give a better taste. Stir it up like that. This is an easy, 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 easy dish and you will love this. I'm going to put some black pepper in there. Put some salt. Just a little. Then I'm going to put some peppuccino. Kids like stuff hot. Because they eat those hot fries. Oh Lord, they can eat this. Okay, we're going to put that in there and then we're going to add some Italian season because it's Italian. Just like this. Just like that, y'all. As much as you want. You put any ingredients you want, like I said, always. And then we're going to add some garlic. Just a little garlic. Just like that with my finger. It ain't going to hurt nothing. And then we're going to stir it like this. Just like this. Okay, we'll stir this all up. And then we're going to add some cheese. We're going to add the um, mozzarella cheese. We're going to add the mozzarella cheese into this. Okay, just like this. That kind of hot send out. I'm gonna crumb it up. And we're gonna mash it in time just like that. The mozzarella cheese. We're gonna mash it inside the spaghetti. Just like this, y'all. Just like this. Get it all incorporated together like that. And then we're gonna bring this back over. Now make sure you uh, brawl both sides. The back and the front. Make sure you do that. And then we're going to pile this up with this. Just like this. With the cheese and the extra mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. And the extra uh, marinara sauce. Extra ketchup. And we're going to do it like this, y'all. I hope y'all see me doing this. I got the red on this side. I am so sorry. Okay, we're going to pile it up just like this. Now your bread is already toasted. So that's a plus. So it won't be soggy. Put it all in like that. 
Then we're gonna add some more cheese. Add more cheese like that, and we're gonna set this in the oven until it gets bubbly. It's like that, okay? And then we're gonna add the meatballs back, just like that, and bed them in just like that. Bed them in just like that. Look like we're gonna have some like that and some like that. And then we're gonna bake this and we're gonna be right back and show you what it looks like. All right, before I put it in the oven, some want some bacon on top. So I got some leftover bacon put on top. Just like this, just some leftover bacon that you can use to put on top like this. Just like that. And then someone asked for pepperoni. So now I'm putting pepperoni on too. I'm telling you, kids are something else. Let's see, let's get this out. Put the pepperoni on. The pepperoni. I'm just going to cut some like that. Put it on the side to make everybody please. Some pepperoni on the side. Cut them like that and place them like that. Some right there. And we're going to put the black olives on when it gets finished. Okay? Be right back. All right. While our dish is cooking, I'm going to slice up some olives. Now, I always get the olives without the pits because it's cheaper. And then, plus, you can just chop them up yourself. A whole can of this was 92 cents at Kroger's. And the ones that had the pits in it, it was a lot higher. Even the little small can was higher. You can always put your olives in a container like this and put it in the refrigerator. And it should last at least two weeks without going bad. So I just want to give you this little tip while we are waiting on the dish. All right. And this has been in the oven for about 15 minutes. And what I'm going to do next is add some more cheese on top, just a little cheese, and we're gonna add the olives on there. Just a little bit more cheese so it can melt on top of the meatballs. Just like this. The kids will enjoy this. We're gonna put the mushroom, I mean, no, I'm talking about mushrooms. We're gonna put the black olives on top, and we're gonna add a little bit more uh, crushed black pepper, what I call it, peppertino. I love that. And kids love hot too. They like it hot also. So don't make it too hot. If you have someone complaint, don't make it too hot. Just do one side. And then we're going to put this back in the oven. But first we're going to put it on the brawler. And then we'll be right back with it. All right. That's the finished results of our stuffed bread spaghetti. <laughs> we can call it what we want it. But look at that, y'all. That looks so good. I just made this up, y'all. I know people have done stuff on YouTube and come up with some good ideas. But this right here is cheesy and it's for the kids. When they are out of school, they got this meatball. They got that uh, pepperoni on there and they got that bacon on there. Mm. Hey, they're going to love this. This is fantastic. And all you have to do is cut it and give it to them and give them a soda or give them some milk or give them some water and let them go on by their business. That's it, y'all. Right there. That is the... Stuffed breast pizza <laughs> with it's not pizza, y'all. Stuffed spaghetti, garlic bread. <laughs> I had a, I will have it up in the towel when you get ready to see this. But this is what it is, and I want to show y'all how beautiful it came out. And you make sure you to you toast your uh, garlic bread. Make sure it's toasted so it can be firm and crusty when you put that spaghetti on there. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel and go to my website soulfoodqueen.net and find more recipes. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you and have a happy eating y'all.